One of the comments that we receive the most from people out there and doing food plots is everybody thinks you need big power equipment in order to plant a plot. The tractors, the quads, heavy duty discs, and that can't be farther from the truth. I'm here with good friend Brian Swite today. We have a gorgeous location. It's in the middle of nowhere, and this is an old homestead. It's been growing up, what, about 30 years? Um, it's all goldenrod and honeysuckle. You can see we came in here with all hand tools, with sickles, cleared this out, and what we're showing you today is you don't need that big power equipment in order to plant food plots. Um, like I said, we cleared all this with the sickles. We sprayed it with the hand sprayer. You can see everything's dead. What we're going to be doing is raking this up and getting ready to plant. It's uh, late July. We want to get this in by the end of July, early August. We're going to be planting bow stand in here, and I'm really, really excited. I know Brian's excited, too, to see what's, uh, what's going to be hitting this plot later in the year. Okay, as you saw, we were in here and this show is about doing a food plot with nothing but hand tools. I got good friend Brian behind me now. You saw us, we came in here, cleared this out, we sprayed it, then we uh, raked it with, uh, with garden rakes. Now what he's doing, he's just going over it with the yard rake, loosening it up, and we're going to be planting bow stand in here from Whitetail Institute. So it's uh, right near the uh, end of July. I'm expecting in you know a few weeks we're going to have a great looking food plot. Really, really excited about this. Our first ever that we did with nothing but hand tools. But it's all about showing you guys you don't need that big equipment in order to plant food plots. Some of the best places to plant a food plot are small clearings that are often inaccessible with planting equipment. Many times these areas are in deep, thicker cover, which is a great place for a bigger buck to be more likely to feed during daylight hours. Whitetail Institute offers two awesome food plot products designed specifically for these type areas. They're called Secret Spot and Bow Stand. Both can produce tremendous results with very little preparation. With just a hand tiller or even just a few hand tools, you can create a fantastic deer attracting food plot in a matter of a few hours. Only a couple things need to be done. One is to make sure the soil is exposed to ensure the seed that you spread makes good contact with the soil. This can be done by tilling or raking. The other thing you need to do is spread the recommended amount of fertilizer. Get you a bag or two of secret spot and or bow stand and create a great hunting spot back near the thick stuff where the bigger bucks like to stay. Okay, here we are. It is a little over four weeks later and we're in our food plot that we planted. I'm here with good friend Brian Schweitzer and unbelievable, we have in a little over four weeks, we have about a foot of growth, wouldn't you say? Yeah, which just blows me away. And as you saw, we there was no way we were getting power equipment in here. We did this all with hand tools, rakes, hand sprayers, hand spreaders. You know, there were just three of us that came in and raked it up and planted it. We got the rain that we needed and it's, it's doing absolutely awesome. And what we stressed everybody is we didn't cut any corners when we planted this plot. We did the soil samples, you know, we spread the appropriate amount of lime and fertilizer, and these are the results that we had. So I think it just goes to show all of you guys and gals out there that think you have to have the big power equipment to plant food plots, it's not the case. Get a few friends together, do all the steps, and these are the kind of results you can have. <laughs> 